Hey, it's Mindpro97 and I'm here with my 13th episode of my Let's Play in Hardcore Mode. I'm currently travelling out to an old chest that I know where it is and being attacked by a skeleton and absolutely owning it. Now, um, sorry about some of the episodes where they've just sort of randomly been cut short with nothing, but I live in a crazy family and they like to just randomly walk in and then I have to stop the episode. And it's really pain. So any episode could end like that and I would edit them together but I am absolutely hopeless with editing unfortunately. So yeah. Oops. Crap. I'm very clumsy in Minecraft. I just sort of jump off cliffs and stuff and I didn't bring any blocks, but luckily I have a few in the chest. So I have to be trying not to waste the blocks as I'm trying to get out and yeah, um Creeper. I would shoot him if he didn't jump into a ditch. And that pig has just been there for ages. Ah, you can no longer punch or mine while holding a ch oh you can mine but not punch. That's kinda weird. You used to be able to do both. That pig is really annoying me. I reckon that means they've added in a new sort of um, uh, smartness for mobs with jumping off of cliffs or at least passive ones. And so pigs are yeah but then they get jammed on the edge now because I did see in actually um, one of uh, the Yogscast videos. I saw with the snow golems how it, ref it didn't jump into the lava when they had it right there. Um, so I reckon they must have done that for all mobs now in this update. Um, yeah, so I reckon this is the back entrance to my house. Um, I'm not sure though. See how I. There we go. That's convenient. Ah, it's a bit of jerk. Uh, I've started recording in a slightly higher quality because I've decided it's worth it. Um, it might lag up the videos a little bit more, although I don't think so. And I've set up some settings which also will reduce lag. Uh, yeah, it'll need less processing power. Um, now, I am intending to go to the nether at some point. Um, but, uh, I kind of want to go with diamond armor, because I might get owned, but then I want to go soon-ish, because I've heard of some decent potions from a mate, um, including one that's like sort of an instant health sort of one, that, like the food used to be. Um, sounds good and I might give that a go. Now, I'm going to end up having to make another double chest so that I can, and I can sort them a bit. So I'll move that to there. Make a couple more chests. Whatever. And then just sort of throw them down and then start sorting. So, I forgot to start my timer, which I like to use a bit so I don't get the episodes going on too long. Now, this can be for precious and decent things. So, not entirely precious, just stuff that. I use a lot and it's worth it. Oops. Actually, I'm gonna burn that. Well, I don't know. See? I don't go down there for a while. See if it disappears. Well, that really pisses me off. Probably a monster above me. Um. 
So basically this ones will be just general blocks. Like dirt, gravel, cobblestone. And probably saplings and stuff as well. Leather. For gunpowder I don't need either. Um, and then this can be for everything else. And then I can take items out from there and those bits of log pissing me off. Now, if I want to go to the nether, ah, I will need diamond pick. I don't think it's worth making anything else out of diamond except swords, picks, and um, armor. Diamond armor would really very nice. Now, the rain's just started up, so I'm going to turn the volume down. And yeah, the rain has probably got much better volume now anyway. It's not a constant noise. Um, I have run into people that love rain. I personally just hate it. I mean, I like the idea of it, but it lags up my game a bit, or it used to. And it's just this constant noise really annoys me. So every time it starts raining, I just turn the volume down. Once the wheat's grown, I reckon I'll turn this into a bigger melon farm. Um, I can do partly anyway. I just keep this smell. And nah, that won't. I'll have to do that. There we go. Um, and then I can do another row here. No, that's not going to work. Dang it. Alright, and then I can plant wheat all along there and along there. Those three areas. Um, some seed. Oh, no, I don't need any more melon seeds. Wait for a plant them there. So that all the melons are growing in the middle along there. And in the middle. Well, and just there. Yeah. But yeah, melons are going to be harder to get now. Gonna have to have a bigger farm to make it worth it. I reckon melon and bread are the best just because of the amount of health they restore. Except melon used to be so much easier to farm. Now I can always make a pumpkin farm. All I have to do is find some pumpkins. Um, yeah. Now, I was going to go exploring. Um, I mean, I was going to go, yeah, exploring, but because it's raining, um, I'm just going to get in the ground and do some mining, so this episode is probably not going to be very entertaining, so I will mark it as a, as one of those, and you don't have to watch it. Basically, I'll just take everything that's worth anything underground with me. Uh... I don't know, that's plenty of wood. Might as well eat that while I'm down there. Um, I reckon I might make myself a stack of wood and a stack of um, sticks. It's not going to make enough. because that only takes up two inventory slots and then I don't have to do it later and then suddenly realise I don't have any room for it. Um, I might as well turn this all into bread because that'll stack now. Um, I might as well break that while I'm at it. Take 
bit of coal. I think I already checked that. But yeah, and I'll see if I can get some obsidian. I haven't even really made it very well. I haven't done much mining yet. Just the ban and mine shaft gave me a lot. And yeah. Yeah, I like to make my mine shafts a bit taller than you have to because then you can sprint down them quite easily. Whoops. If that was a big drop, I would have fallen down it and died already. Hmm. That's why I like melon. Do that with it. Um, crap. Crap. Won't need that for now, so I'm not tempted to use it. Once I have a decent bit of diamond, I'll use that for mining. Might as well break that and then get rid of that one. I didn't bring a crafting bench, so I'll have to craft another one. Now, I didn't bring any blocks to do anything with, so I'll just leave that for now. Now, if I was standing there, then I... Right, then the next level would be here. Okay. Just don't worry. I was just trying to make sure it was perfect staircase. Considering I might be using this mine for quite a while on this series. Um, yeah. Nice and peace and quiet here where there's no rain, so I'll turn the volume back up a bit. 48 should do, and let's see. Oh, episode hasn't been too long so far. So I'm keep going. I've got weapons ready but out of the way. I like to keep everything all perfect like that. And it doesn't have to annoy me later on. And yeah. Let's see how deep I am. Depth is about 20. Um, I could have some interrupting family members soon. So if the episode randomly ends. <laughs> Sorry about that. But hopefully it won't. Might as well go all the way to bedrock. Just because then if I ever want to mine a bit deeper for anything that you can find deeper. And yeah. Um. Redstone. Mm. Not much point for the time being. But I'll know where some is if I need it. Um, my game wasn't so laggy. F3 would come in handy a lot more for coordinates and things, and then I wouldn't get lost. Although, um, I have heard talk that because F3 is a debug feature, that when the full release comes out, F3 won't work anymore which means that you won't be able to figure out any way of well, there'll be other sort of ways but I don't know possibly yeah that might not <laughs> be the world's best thing now I want myself on level 12.6 which is right here 12.62 it seems and then this can be where I start a mine shaft. Um, it also means any lava I find will be at my feet and won't hit me dead on and then I'll be able to quite easily get some obsidian although I didn't bring my bucket of water which I'd normally take with me when I'm mining when I'm getting obsidian or not so that was fair by me. Now this other method of mining I've learnt I've got it from Kiersha, um, another YouTube guy is basically as you're mining along this is at diamond level you just keep doing those four blocks like that um, there we go there's some lava already um, I've probably no I haven't run into that yet now I didn't bring my bucket of lava so I'll just dig it out for now and then I can get back to some mining and in the episode in the ground and yeah so yeah so thanks for watching um subscribe like if you like it do whatever 
more views I get, the more likely I'm going to continue because there's no point continuing if nobody likes what I'm doing. If we'll put a few of you out of your misery. But then again, you don't have to watch it if you don't want to. So yeah, thanks for watching. Um